My name is Richard Smyšek. I am a medical doctor and I have developed in Prague 40 years ago the method of spiral stabilization of the spine. My name is Richard Smyšek. I am a doctor. 然后四十年前，我在布拉格创立了创立了一套叫做“螺旋肌肉链”的呃康复体系。The method is based on the surface stabilization of the muscles during the motion, special gait. 我们的这套康复体系是基于身体表层的一些螺旋肌肉链的稳定，尤其是在动作，特别是在步态动作当中的稳定。Then we activate the spiral chains, muscle chains, collaboration during motion, and we should relax vertical chains they we use for stability for quiet. 垂直筋筋肌肉链主要是在静态动姿势的情况下参与功能稳定的。那么我们在动作当中，我们应该更多的激活螺旋肌肉链的稳定，这样呢能够抑制放松垂直肌肉链。We use this spiral chains during walking when we have vertical axis and good extension of the arm to the back. 我们在行走步态当中的时候，当我们的身体保持非常垂直的中轴线，手臂能够产生很好的伸展功能的时候，我们就能够更好的激活螺旋肌肉链的稳定功能。Then these spiral muscle chains are natural stabilization of the healthy gait coordination. 而螺旋肌肉链的稳定功能是自然健康的步态所需要的这个协调。The most important is stability of the wall in front. 最重要的是身体前侧腹壁的稳定。The most important place is shoulder blade when we start stability through trapezius and we add. Obliquus externus abdominis, obliquus internus abdominis, and gluteus maximus, and we go down to fascia lata. 而这个螺旋肌肉链的走向是从斜方肌，然后到达对侧的腹壁、腹外斜肌，然后到腹内斜肌，然后到了对侧的臀大肌，然后下面是髂胫束。The most important part are these oblique muscles in the wall. 最重要的部分是身体当中的腹壁。Then spine react on this spiral stabilization. Then muscle corset that stabilize the motion. 嗯，那么我们的脊柱是根据身体的肌肉，然后做出反应的。而身体的这个肌肉系统，我们把它比喻成一个身体的塑身衣。Then the knowledge is about the spiral stabilization. Give our possibility to create the shape of spine. 那么我们身体脊柱的形状是由这个肌肉系统来塑造的。To make spine straight is necessary to create spiral stabilization, but erection should be in erector spinae. We should relax erector spinae. Then stabilization, relaxation. 要让我们的身体的脊柱在处于一个笔直的状态，我们就需要激活螺旋肌肉链的稳定，同时放松垂直肌肉链，尤比如说，尤其是其中的竖脊肌的紧张。This is reciprocal inhibition. Then between spiral chains we have and vertical chains we have the loss of reciprocal inhibition. 我们身体当中的螺旋肌肉链和垂直肌肉链，它们存在着一个交互抑制的关系。The most important is inhibition of erector spinae. 其中最重要的就是要抑制竖脊肌的紧张。We see girl with scoliosis. 这是一个脊柱侧弯的女孩。The most important is we have this full body. X-ray. Then we see this very bad rotation of the pelvis. 诊断的时候，我们需要看到全身的这个 X 光片。我们看到这个女孩，她的骨盆有明显的旋转。This scoliosis need to improve muscle imbalance in pelvis area and the right side 
of the hip flexors should be stretched. 而这位女性脊柱酸患者，她需要改善骨盆周围的肌肉不平衡，还有右侧的腹壁的薄弱，尤还有以及要牵拉右侧的屈髋肌。But when we are treating this muscle imbalance in pelvic area, we have straight position of the pelvis. 在我们治疗他的脊柱酸，纠正他骨盆周围的位置的时候，过之后我们就把他的骨盆的位置纠正到了一个水一个水平的位置。Then through training of the muscles in pelvic area, we can improve pelvis position and spine reaction is to be straight. 通过我们的治疗，通过我们的呃治疗的训练，然后。骨盆的位置纠正正确之后，脊柱自然的变直了。Then till this time, we are working wrong on the body. We use some plastic brace to stabilize. We use some spine surgery to stabilize the spine. But we should improve muscle imbalance in pelvic area and in shoulder girdle because it is oblique. We improve power between shoulder blades, abdominal wall, and we have therapy for scoliosis. 在现实生活当中，我们有一些传统的治疗脊柱穿的方法，比如说用绞刑支具，还有有一些用手术。但是我们用的方法是非常保守的，用训练的方法来纠正肩关节的，就纠正骨盆的位置不对以及肩关节的这个倾斜，最后我们能够治好脊柱侧弯。We see that this body is close together; it is compressed, and this body is stretched. 我们能看到这张图片，在治疗之前，他的身体这个就是紧张是被挤压到一起的，而之后这个紧张就是被放松了。Then the therapy lasts two years. 这个脊柱穿的治疗持续了两年，将近三年的时间。Because we should completely repeat. The muscle activity in pelvis area, abdominal wall, and shoulder girdle. Because we need to spend a long time to heal the muscles in the abdomen, the abdomen, and the abdomen. Because we need to spend a long time to heal the muscles in the abdomen, the abdomen, and the abdomen. Because we need to spend a long time to heal the muscles in the abdomen, the abdomen, and the abdomen. Because we need to spend a long time to heal the muscles in the abdomen, the abdomen, and the abdomen. Because we need to spend a long time to heal the muscles in the abdomen, the abdomen, and the abdomen. Because we need to spend a long time to heal the muscles in the abdomen, the abdomen, and the abdomen. Because we need to spend a long time to heal the muscles in the abdomen, the abdomen, and the abdomen. Because we need to spend a long time to heal the muscles in the abdomen, the abdomen, and the abdomen. Because we need to spend a long time to heal the muscles in the abdomen, the abdomen, and the abdomen. Because we need to spend a long time to heal the muscles in the abdomen, the abdomen, and the She is exercising half an hour every day with full control of the mother. She has observed our courses to be good in correction. 嗯，她每天都会进行半个小时的脊柱侧弯绞刑训练，而且训练是在她母亲的监督的情况下，而且受是受过我们的专业课程的培训。Then family therapy. 呃，所以这个是一个。Sure, we measure cup angle. Then at the beginning thirty, after that fifteen. Now is straight. 刚开始我们测量出来他的脊柱侧弯，靠背角是三十度，然后之后呢，进进步到了呃十五度，最后纠正到了四度。The low doses was very deep. High blood doses. 刚开始的时候，她的腰椎前凸曲线是非常大的，是在一个过度前凸的。She has tightness in the rectus spinae and weakness in the abdominal wall. 因为她竖脊肌特别的紧张，腹壁特别的薄弱。She has weakness in gluteus maximus and tightness in the psoas. 腰大肌紧张。Then muscle imbalance. 这就是肌肉不不平衡。And we need training to be stabilized and not fix the body through brace. 这个这种情脊柱酸的情况，我们需要通过训练来纠正，而不是通过绞刑支具来纠正。Then this deep low doses is in one year better. 它过度的腰椎前凸，经过一年的训练治疗之后，被改善了。When we compare the body before and after, we can compare the body before and after. Then this oblique position of the shoulder girdle is now straight. After treatment, the shoulder girdle is now straight. Then this oblique position of the shoulder girdle is now straight. Then this oblique position of the shoulder girdle is now straight. Then this oblique position of the shoulder girdle is now straight. Then this oblique position of the shoulder girdle is now straight. Then this oblique position of the shoulder girdle is now straight. Then this oblique position of the shoulder girdle is now straight. Then this oblique position of the shoulder girdle is now straight. Then this oblique position of
She had an imbalance. On the right side there is open space and on the left side the space is smaller than imbalance in trunk. 它的躯干右侧的这个空间更大一些，左侧更小一些，这说明右侧腹地的稳定更差一些。When we see then uh, when we compare this shoulder is moving back and down。我们可以对比肩关节位置的治疗前后的对比，在治疗之前它肩它的头的位置比较靠前，治疗之后头的位置更靠后。It is moving to the axis. Then this body is balanced. 那么治疗之后, when we have this test of extension in hip joint, we see first trouble on the back, on the uh, on the upper part of the body. 当我们评估... 深宽灵活性的时候，我们发现他第一个错误，也就是第一个问题是在这个上半身。She has short hip, uh, short pectoralis. 他的胸肌特别的紧张。And so the shoulder is moved up and front. 所以他的肩关节被带到了往上往前的一个位置。When we may move elbow in front. 当我们把他的肘关节的位置纠正到前面之后，And we completely change shoulder girdle position，我们就能够完全的改善他整个肩带和头的位置。And the hip flexors are stretched。啊，他的屈髋肌得到了很好的拉伸。So it should continue till twenty centimeters。而他这个。改被改善的深呃深宽的角度应该继续进行训练，应该最后达到深宽达到二十厘米更好。Her erector spine should be a little bit more open on the back, but it is not bad. 她背部的竖脊肌应该得到更好的拉伸才好，不过现在的情况已经不错。Then we see if we stabilize surface of the body. We can change the shape of the spine. 现在我们知道了，通过改变身体周围的这个肌肉链，我们就能够改变塑造我们的脊柱的姿势和形状。Then spiral stabilization give us to build muscle corset and not to use plastic corset. 嗯，而这个螺旋肌肉链就能够让我们身体产生形成一个。Then this therapy is based on strengthening. And abdominal wall is the most important space that supports our body. And improve the situation in the disc. 而且腹壁同时能够 改善我们椎间盘的情况。Then traction up is the most important power for scoliosis therapy. 对于脊柱侧弯治疗的康复来说,产生脊柱向上的牵拉是最重要的内容。To elongate the spine. 来拉长脊柱。And we see this side abdominal wall should be activated. 我们看得到。腹壁外侧的薄弱应该被激活。And we increase the diameter of the disc. 这样我们就能够增加椎间盘的高度。Then does the spiral stabilized muscle chain? 这个就是螺旋肌肉链稳定的作用效果。Muscle corset. 这个就是肌肉束身衣的效果。And during this two or three years therapy, we create real traction of the spine. 经过了两到三年的脊柱侧弯脚型训练之后，我们真正的拉长了这个脊柱。Then uh, spine is longer through compensation of hyperlordosis and scoliosis. 因为他的之前有脊柱侧弯，腰椎的前突过大，我们在矫进矫正了过大的腰椎前突和脊柱侧弯之后，整个脊柱被我们拉得更长。then real traction. Everybody sees this spine is longer. 
大家都能够看出来，它的脊柱变得更长了，这就产生了一个脊柱真正的牵长牵拉的效果。And one part of destruction is is this lordosis. 其中一个部分就是它的前腰椎的过度前凸。This is another case. 这是另外一个脊柱侧弯的案例。Girl, four years old. 一个四岁的大的女孩。But once more, we see without muscles between shoulder blades, we cannot activate spiral chain. 同样的，我们看得出来。他的肩胛骨两边中间，两边的肩胛骨中间没有足够的肌肉力量，他就不能够激活腹壁的稳稳定性。And we have no activation of the feet, and we have two flat feet. 而他的足底也没有更好的激活，所以他两双侧都有扁平足。Left foot is more deformated, and then create oblique position of the pelvis. 左边的扁平足更加的严重，这样呢产生了一个骨盆一个倾斜的位置。And through five years therapy， 我们经过了五年的训练治疗。She's work she's working hard with the mother every hour, maybe five minutes。她每天在家，在母亲的帮助下，每个小时都花大概五分钟的训练。Then again, family therapy。再次重复一下，这也是一个重要的家庭的治疗。She has built muscles between shoulder blades, good stability in pelvic area through gluteus, and she improved the flat feet. 通过训练，双侧肩胛骨中间的肌肉能够也更更好的激活臀肌，然后进而能够改善我们的扁平足。And Till this time, we are talking that it's not possible to improve scoliosis more bigger than 40 degrees. She has 50, but it is possible. 在以前，人们都认为，如果脊柱侧弯角度超过了40度的话，是不能够通过保守治疗好的。但是从这个案例，我们能够看到，它的侧弯角度已经超过了50度，而且它是能够被我们这套呃保守的康复方法能够进行纠正的。But this family therapy is not possible every time. Not every time the mother would like to take care about the children, like in this case. 当然了，不是每一位脊柱侧弯儿童的母亲都能够像我们这个案例当中一样，每天都要花这么大的精力来进行脊柱侧弯的纠正训练。We are looking for some schools. They would like to organize this training for the children during the day, then that time when they are at school. 我们希望有一些学校能够组织这样的脊柱侧弯的青少年儿童，能够花一定的时间来进行脊柱侧弯的矫形训练。Maybe here in nursery school because it was before school, and now she is attending the school. 你看，比如这个左边是之前参加学校。呃，之前，那么右边是已经参加了这个学校。Then spine stabilization is possible, and we can treat scoliosis bigger than forty degrees. 嗯，而超过四十度脊柱侧弯的患者呢，也是有可能通过我们的治疗能够纠正的。I'm against spine stabilization. Surgery. Why? Because this stabilization create only the compensation under the stabilization. 我是反对脊柱侧弯做手术固定的。为什么呢？原因就是做完手术固定之后，我们会导致脊柱的下半部产生这个代偿。Then、uh, such a stabilization surgery without rehabilitation. Create only another troubles. Make no sense to do it. 这样的脊柱侧弯手做手术固定呢，会做完手术之后又没有进行康复的训练，最后会导致其他的问题，是完全不应该采取的。Then、uh, we should prepare these children in two years program for surgery, and I hope we improve them so much that will be not necessary to do the surgery. 所以，我希望在给脊柱侧弯患者进行手术固定之前
花两年的时间来进行这套康复的纠正训练。我相信通过两年的这个治疗之后，他的脊柱穿会得到很大的改善，最后就不需要进行手术了。But when we decide to do this spine stabilization surgery, please create the whole life program to be rehabilitated. To be rehabilitated, then we need full time, full life rehabilitation program for these people. 嗯，如果一定要给脊柱穿的患者进行手术固定的话，我希望在他的一生当中都应该给他制定一套完整的康复的方案。Then first step is traction. 第一步治疗的思路就是稳，通过稳螺旋链的稳定产生一个脊柱拉长的效果。腹壁被稳定，这样放松了背部。And even better is when you move a little bit your rib cage a little bit down. 如果你能够保持肋骨内收不要上翘的话，这样效果更好。Then quiet position. We stabilize through vertical chains, erector spina, psoas. 在静态姿势的时候，我们是通过垂直肌肉链，比如说腰大肌和竖脊肌来稳定的。Abdominal wall is not activated. 这个时候腹壁没有被激活。Our disc is flat. 我们的椎间盘是扁平的。We go up. Then this is trapezius. Spiral chain and activate a new wall. 那么螺斜方肌螺旋肌肉链稳定之后，能够把腹肌收进去，产生脊柱牵长的效果。It's real traction. 这是真的会产生一个牵长的效果。And we should relax the vertical chain. 我们需要放松垂直肌肉链。And this is serratus chain. 这是前锯肌肌肉链。Then we continue with shoulder blade to move a little bit in front, and even better to activate the new wall. 在前锯肌肉链工工工作的时候，我们的肩胛骨会做一个前伸的动作，这样能够更好的激活腹壁肌肉。Spine is very good stretched. 这个时候脊柱被很好的拉长。Then from quiet, we go up, and we activate the new wall, 激活腹壁。Then traction is the most important function of our spiral chains. 螺旋肌肉链最重要的功能就是能够产生脊柱向上拉长的效果。And the spiral stabilization and traction open completely new possibility of free to scoliosis and disc troubles. 然后我们螺旋肌肉链的这个作用呢，能够给我们提供了一个。完全新的治疗椎间盘突出和脊柱侧弯的一个方康复方法。Then we would like to invite to our education program, and if you have some questions, you can send us maybe some email. Then we meet in Prague in our education center or in all the li- on the world. Then we are working in all Europe and in China and. 现在我邀请你来参加我们这套康复系统的学习。你如果有任何问题，可以通过邮箱来联系。我们现在在整个欧洲和中国，哦，还有韩国都有这样的培训班。拜拜。